He is the story that had made it well peaceful, as we all know, Ron Artest broke Michael Jordan's wrist. Now, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I, I, I lost my voice. It's the reason I haven't been posting videos. I wasn't even sick, but yeah, I just lost my whole voice, so stick with me. This is a really good story. I think you guys will enjoy it. But in a 2001 article and scrimmage, an article written June 25th, 2001 by Sam Smith, it claimed that MJ's rib injury actually occurred in a fight with Ron Artest. MJ vs Ron Artest in a fight, comment down below who'd win because matter well peace or Ron Artest, that man was crazy. On the, on the other hand, MJ was also pretty crazy but he didn't really get in fights like Ron Artest but anyway, that's besides the point, let's get on to the story. Artest denied that they were in a fight but apparently on that day of the scrimmage, it was said that Jordan was in full trash talk mode that exact day. He'd been telling Anthony Walker of the Celtics to count on four losses to the Wizards next season. And he was hitting jump shot after jump shot in the face of Artest and taunting Artest at the same time. And apparently it was getting personal. The story is that Artest stayed back in the lane and then when Jordan came in the next time, Artest grabbed him and slammed him to the floor. That's supposedly where the ribs were broken. Artest is also said to have thrown a punch afterwards, but this is false, and I'm here to say why. Sam Smith, if, if he's still writing, that man about to get fired, because there's no actual footage of what happened, but according to Ron Artest, this is what really happened, and Michael Jordan never came out and said that they got in a fight. So, I really believe what Ron Artest says here, and this is his version and his story on how he broke his idol's ribs. We had an incident, me and Jordan. When I, I remember you broke his ribs. Yeah, we was in the, Chicago in the summertime playing pickup basketball. At that age, when I sense that somebody is better than me, I go into my street mode. You know, so when I got a chance to play against Mike, immediately I'm like, I don't give a rat's ass. He's just as crazy as I am. He scored every single time. And I got tired of him scoring. So he was holding me and I knew if I let him touch the ball, he's going to score. So I cannot let him touch it. So he was holding me and I was and I moved his arm out the way and I hit him in the ribs by mistake. And that was like one of the worst days of my life as a basketball player. He went down and they didn't. No, he didn't go down. Jordan's crazy. I hit him in the ribs, he holds his ribs. He takes about five seconds, then it's his ball. And he ends the game on the jumper and he walks off. That's Michael Jordan, man. Wow. Michael Jordan. Alright, now let's get a few things out of this story. Number one. MJ averaged 23 points that season, his lowest after he broke his ribs. Now when you think about that, he was really old. This is his time at the Washington Wizards, around 37, 38 years old. Still averaging 23. Meta says, had he not had broken ribs and actually had a summer to work out, he would have averaged at least 30, which is pretty crazy for a 37 year old. While taking off three months from a rib injury, he would average 35. He, definitely, he would average 35, he was so good. The second thing is, Meta World Peace, he must be pretty strong because obviously being physical and all that, we know Meta to be one of the most physical and most determined players, especially on the defensive end. That guy was crazy, kind of like Dennis Rodman. In fact, that's who he compares himself to. In saying that, another crazy thing about this story is it really shows MJ's mentality. He broke his ribs. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever had broken ribs, but broken ribs is one of the most painful injuries that one can have. Obviously there are other injuries that are worse, but broken ribs are seriously really, really painful. When you take deep breaths, it hurts. When you press on the ribs and that area, it hurts. When you bend over or twist your body, it will hurt. So for Michael Jordan to win the game after he broke his ribs, I'm pretty sure that just shows his mentality and determination to win a game and that's his mindset. He had to win everything. So that's the story. Let me know down below what you think about this story, the time that Ron Artest broke MJ's ribs. Yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool story. That's why I wanted to share it on the channel. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Let's aim for 1,000 likes. If you're new around here, I know you want more NBA content. Hit that subscribe button. And